Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pens and other reviews. This is the Jin Hao 950 Porcelain Dragon Fountain Pen. And really great design as you can see. The dragon on there is cool. You can get it with a couple other designs. But I wanted uh, for a long time to grab one of these and see if it was as cool as it looked in the pictures. You know, it's kind of different from most of the pens that I buy and I just was in the mood for something different anyway. And so I wanted to share with you what I think about this pen. So we'll look up close at that design. How well does it or does it not write? You know, sometimes the, when pens uh, are a little bit heftier and different uh, designs and materials, sometimes the writing suffers. We'll see whether or not that is the case with this pen and whether or not I like it and would recommend it. So let's spin that camera around and check out the Jin Hao Dragon Pen. And here is up close and personal that Porcelain Dragon Jin Hao 950. Let's look at first the artwork on the pen. There you go. This is the dragon. There are other options and I'll stick a picture up here of what those other options are. So far, I have really enjoyed this pen and the finish and the way that they've done this on the porcelain is quite well done. Not bad at all. Let's look at some of the other features you have at the top. Just a plain black smooth plastic uh, finial surrounded by this chromed steel ring. You will find a very familiar clip, which is certainly a good clip, with that Jin Hao logo and shield. This is the same that's on the 159. It's the same, and I have it right back here, as is on the, what is the number there? It's the 8 something something. I'll put it up there for you so that you can look at it. I'll put a link to the review of this, but you'll notice that it's that same familiar uh, sword and shield and logo clip. So that's another good pin. All right, and then you come down to this ring, which says Jin Hao on one side, stamped in simply, and then you have the model number 950 here on the opposite side. Then you come on down, you have your dragon, and then you have this nice chromed metal barrel end, whatever you would call this big knobby thing. This is not a piston filler, but that's you know what that would kind of make you think of. Well, let's look at the cap. It is a snap-on with an authoritative click and it needs to be secure and it is very secure because this is a significant part of the pen's weight and you can post it however um, I don't recommend it. It fits solidly and it even comes off with a whoops with a pop. Did you hear that? So if it does post very securely but it gets very back heavy with that cap on. So I, I write with this pen uh, just unposted, but it does, it does stay on if you do want to do that. Now, uh, it has a long section and it's compared to the rest of the pen, it's a thin section. I think, you know, fairly average uh, diameter and you, you've got plenty of length there to find your sweet spot. If you want it thinner there, thicker there, uh, you can do that. It has a number five nib. And while I can see why, some people might actually prefer a larger number six on a pen of this size, it, it writes well. And I have great experience, as I've said before, with Jin Hao's number five nib. So even when I think a number of a six might look better, I have yet to be disappointed by these steel nibs. This is a fine, and uh, most of them are. And I just have very good luck and experience with them. So I like it. Not a problem to me. Um, open it up. And what are we going to find? It does take quite a few turns to get that off. Uh, we find a Jin Hao standard convertible. It is international standard, so it takes Jin Hao cartridges, international shorts and longs, and of course the standard international cartridge, or excuse me, converter. Uh, but this is just the normal Jin Hao converter that comes in all their pins, or most of their pins, and I have good luck with them. I have no complaints. Always glad 
to see it in there. This pen cost me all of eight dollars, I think. So uh, to have a converter included is a fantastic thing, and it's it's typical for Jin Hao. You can see again, I didn't mention it earlier, that it has that normal decoration of the Jin Hao nib with their chariot logo and marked fine. Uh, so there you go. That is the design of the pen, and I do think design in this case is probably the number one reason you buy the pen. You like the style, you like uh, the Chinese characters, you like the dragon, and uh, if you're going to buy a Chinese pen, buying one that actually has Chinese character, I think, is certainly a cool way to go. This one is very reasonably priced for a pen that certainly is more than, uh, there's more involved than would be in your typical plastic and metal pen, and I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. But in the end, I still want it to write well, so let's check that out. All right, let's see how this pen writes. It is best, as I mentioned, unposted. And this is the Jinhao 950. That's the model number. This particular one is the Dragon Pen. Really like that artwork. It has a fine steel nib and writes a nice fine line. Good flow and all of that good stuff. And then this is Noodler's Turquoise from their Eel line of ink. So I'm going to put Noodler's Eel so you know which line of ink to look it up. And that is the Turquoise. I'm bumping that other pin over there. Sorry. Okay. Then, let's see. I'm going to be quiet and let you hear how it writes. And this is just my normal paper on a table. So you might hear a little bit more. That's all right. Mm, good flow there. And that's a lot of ink for a, for a fine, isn't it? So it doesn't seem over, doesn't seem like it's gushing or anything, but that's a good well saturated, good amount of ink. And then, let's see, I'll do a little bit of alphabet for you. I've been asked to put up a video of the entire alphabet and I need to do that here pretty soon. Okay, I really, this little skip, there is one. I don't know if that's the pen or me, so uh, could go either way. But I haven't really had skipping with this pen, so I'm, I'm prone to blame myself, but you never know. Let's see here. What do I like? Let's do pros and cons about this pen right quick. These are the pros, and these are the cons. Pros, that number five Jin Hao nib. And it's kind of funny, because you might think that I'm overdoing it, on my praise of this particular nib and fine. But here's the thing. I have well over a dozen pins with this nib. And uh, that's not just because, you know, it comes in a lot of their pins. It's because I buy them because I know that they're gonna be good writers. It's really surprising to me how often I've had great experience with these nibs. I, I can't think of a number five from them that I've ever had to do work on. Uh, sixes, which everybody praises, the Jin Hao Sixes and the 159 and the X750 and X450, and uh, they're good nibs. Very smooth riders, uh, but some of them gush. Uh, rarely is a fine, really a fine, and there's just a little there's still a bit of inconsistency there. Beautiful nibs, uh, and I've had some great experience. Uh, the Jin Hao 100 that I'll review here soon, I can give you that much preview. Uh, that number six in, in that pen is excellent. But they're fives. They deserve every bit of praise they get and a bit more. You can't believe how good a lot of them are for how little bit you actually pay for them. So, you know, if you think I praise them too much, I probably don't enough. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I really enjoy them, and, and proof of how good they are. Every night now, uh, starting uh, at New Year's, every night I sit down with a different fountain pen from my collection and uh, a different color ink, and I write a full page 
of quotes because I love to collect quotes. And so I'm kind of marrying up uh, my love of quotes and of writing with my fountain pens. And I, I found some tremendous paper that I'm going to share with you that's very affordable uh, in an upcoming review. And every night I sit down with that notebook and I write a full page of quotes from various authors, uh, a different author each night. And I go through and I just pick from that particular author or speaker or historical figure every night. And uh, last night it was the Jin Hao 51 with this exact same nib, which I already knew. I've had that pen a long time. It's, it's fantastic. And I was shocked again. Uh, in the same week I wrote with a Diplomat Arrow extremely good nib, better than some gold nibs I've written with, uh, and some other really great pens. And I'm telling you, this pen, or this nib, this number five from Jin Hao, uh, very often, excellent, excellent, excellent nib. Uh, I'm just always surprised because the price point just does not tell you that it's going to be this good, and it is that good. So there is that. I probably talked about that too long, uh, but there is that. It is actually, I was, I was surprised because that was the thing I was curious about. It's a comfortable pen to write with, and I thought, you know, maybe not. Maybe it'll be too bulky, or that step down's pretty large, but it's high enough up that really, <laughs> finish the word before I stop writing, uh, it's really quite comfortable. So I have liked that it is, um, I think, I mean, this is going to depend on what you like and what you don't like. I would have thought, you know, porcelain uh, with blue artwork on it uh, wasn't going to appeal to me all that much, but I actually really like the artwork that's on this pen. I think it's cool. Something different. And it's a good writer, period. Just a good writer and a good bargain price for its excellent cons. Well, let's see. There is, for some people, so I'm going to put it down, there is that step down. Depending on where you hold your pen, that step down may or may not be an issue. The cap is definitely heavy. I like the cap, but it's heavy. And I like to post my pens when I'm writing, and I, I can't. So in certain circumstances, I would consider that at least a, a light negative. I'm going to call that a light negative is a heavy cap. Uh, I need to put over here that the construction is really good. Fit and finish on mine is really good. Anything else negative? Let me think. I put a dot so there might have been something on my mind. What would it be? It's not coming to me. I think that's it. Uh, just mainly it, uh, that, that heavy cap and that step down. Other than that, I'm really not finding anything that just jumps out at me as bad. So you may find a, something about the design that you don't like or something like that, but I think that's quite good. You know, maybe the only other thing would be overall weight, but you bought a porcelain pen or ceramic pen, what do you think it's going to be, right? So there you go. Do I like it? I do like it. Do I recommend it? I do. I think it's a great pen and I think it's a unique gift to somebody. This would be a great gift pen to someone uh, that's into that sort of thing or that you think might like a very different fountain pen. This is another good gift pen, so that's Anna Jin Hao, a good writer. Here is, for size, the Lamy Safari. As you can see, we're all coming up very similar lengths. Let's do another Jin Hao. Here is a Jin Hao 51. This is not the one I mentioned, but this is also an excellent pen. That's got an extra fine nib. Here is, let's do two more, just for size. These are all coming in very similar. There's the Hongdian Black Forest, and there is the Ubiquitous Bic Multi-Pen. I've kind of hit all along the same line of length there, haven't I? But very different pants. That gives you an idea. So it's thicker than all of them, uh, heavier than all of them, but also a bit more unique than all of them. So great pen at a great price. And uh, just to, you know, beware of those couple of things. It is a heavy pen. It has a clip for your shirt pocket, but it's probably going to be too heavy for your shirt pocket. Uh, you know, it's going to mess your shirt up and things like that when you get them too heavy. Uh, so heavy, tall, uh, and not, not postable practically. It is postable, but not postable practically. Those would be the only caveats I would have. Everything else about this pen, honestly, really, really like it. God bless you. 
Like, subscribe, share with a friend that you think might like this pen because it's pretty cool. And click that bell so that it notifies you. Going to have some other pens coming up real soon. God bless you. Have a great week.